signing on for his first race as a Team Sky rider, but there had been a question mark over Mark Cavendish's participation, with the world champion laid low by a bug on the eve of the event. Yeah, I'm not 100%. Um, I was on the plane and uh, just, no, I didn't feel too good. I thought maybe I need some sleep got off. I just had fever the last about 30 hours. But, um, Seems to have slept off, I'm not aching anymore, I'm not 100% but I'm able to start, which is okay. Luckily the wind isn't too bad, it's still going to split up, but I uh, don't think I'll be competing today, but I feel better, thank you very much. He was Cavendish's loyal lieutenant until the end of last season, but now Mark Renshaw is also with a new team and a sprint leader in his own right, as well as the reigning champion in Qatar. If any man knows how to beat Mark Cavendish, arguably it's you. How much of a challenge is it going to be? Well, it's going to be a big challenge. You know, uh, he looks fit, although he's had a few illness problems the last few days. But you know, we might see some other sprinters come good. Uh, it would surprise me if there, you know, there's a, a whole host of sprinters here that are capable of being captured. One of those sprinters is the winner of 18 stages here, Tom Bonin, who's come to Qatar in good form from the Tour de San Luis in Argentina. Having caught the early lone SKP, Adam Hansen, the peloton roared towards the finish at the College of the North Atlantic with a prevailing wind. Given Cavendish's ailment, Sky were working to set up their Italian sprinter, Davide Apollonio, but Bonin's quickstep team took the uphill drag to the finish perfectly, and when their man kicked out with 200 metres to go, there was no stopping him. Britain Adam Blythe came up fast on the inside to claim second place and Slovak Peter Sagan was third. Could this be a good year for the former world champion Bonin after a couple of injury affected seasons? Yeah, I mean this is a race that really suits me because sometimes, most of the times you arrive here with everybody doing a lot of work, all the sprinters are tired at the finish line and then uh, I'm probably one of the best in the world if everybody's tired. But today was a, was a real sprint with everybody really fresh and uh, I'm very happy with this win. It shows me uh, that I've been working okay. A 19th trip to the podium for Bonin then as a stage winner here with a points jersey and the overall leader's gold jersey going his way. Blythe is second overall, four seconds back and in the white jersey for best young rider and with a team time trial on Monday it's likely things will be shaken up further.